Dave from Head Games here. I'm here to show you about stem height. What is stem height? Let me show you. All right, so we're gonna show you, just because you purchase a valve, say for this 2JZ, that just because you purchase a valve for it, that they all don't mean the same thing. Meaning like different manufacturers' valves will fit or go into the head differently. And that revolves around your stem height, which involves lash and or spring height. Let's talk about the valve. The valve, this is the 45 degree that the valve will seat on in the head. And then right here is the margin. Now the margin plays a key role in dissipating heat away from the valve. The figure it is, the better it is to dissipate heat but this will also dictate how the valve is gonna sit in the cylinder head, meaning the thicker this is, the more it's gonna sit into the chamber and it's gonna sit farther away from your lash and your, your spring will get tighter. That is unless the manufacturer makes up for it on the other side of the valve, meaning this side. Now, just because you bought this valve and it's for a 2JZ, now this is the same manufacturer you can see here that the margin is much different. It's much thinner. So how is this gonna affect stem height? Let's show you. So you might have one of these tools, the stem height checker. We're gonna, it's already zero to this. Um, so this is the one valve. This is the valve that didn't have the, uh, the thick margin. And we are at 1525. Five. I'm gonna take that out. On in now height is from the spring pocket to the tip of the valve and you can see here there's about 30 thousandths difference just in the stem height on the head so this is just one manufacturer what does that mean to you that means that every manufacturer has their own formula about what they think is right so you need to measure when you put stuff in because your valve height could be wrong your lash could be off and you're not going to know why and it really stems from the valve stem. All right, so this is a different manufacturer. Uh, this is only one of their series valves. Now we are at 1515. So we're like five thousandths off the other valve. And five thousandths is really nothing. That's actually less than a dollar bill of thickness. This is the same manufacturer offer two different series of this valve. And uh, this is what it looks like in the combustion chamber. This would also affect compression ratio because it's taking more room up in the combustion chamber. So therefore the combustion chamber is theoretically smaller. But you see how this is pretty flush with the chamber and this sticks out really, really far. This would also actually affect your piston and valve clearance. When we are machining a valve job, a lot of this comes into play because we are concerned about stem height. Now, could we theoretically sink the valve to, in order to make this right. I guess we could, but it's not the preferred way. The takeaway from this is really that you can't just buy parts, install them, and think they're gonna work because even in the same manufacturer, they're not all the same. And also different manufacturers also have different measurements and that's gonna affect your spring height, your lash, pretty much your entire combination. So it's very important to measure, measure, measure. I'm out of here. Be sure to like and subscribe. Comment below. I'd love to hear from you. I'm always in the comments. Toodles.